automating with AI has gotten easier and easier as better models just keep on getting released. A lot of these processes are getting automated by the day because of this and things are just moving so fast right now. Here is a graph that shows the next few LMs that we'll be releasing and it's quite scary to see that AI can get even better from where it is right now with the release of different models such as Claude 4, Meta 4, as well as GPT-5. To showcase how fast things are moving, take a look at this example where Cursor has just recently came out with this new feature called Composer and it has drastically enhanced the way it can code. You can autonomously code out and make changes to a code base and businesses are starting to notice this amazing new feature where they're requesting their employees to start utilizing it so that they can easily accelerate software development. And this may make you wonder, what can you do and what are some things that you can automate with AI? Well, today, as you might have seen from the title, I will be showcasing how you can automate any business process with the help of AI because it's definitely possible to do so. Since we have the tech at our disposal, I'll showcase how you can utilize it so that you can automate your business workflow or even outsource it. Well, how am I going to accomplish this? Well, this is with the trusted AI automation platform I've showcased numerous times on this channel called VectorShift. And it has truly changed the landscape of AI as it's a powerful no-code AI platform that has the ability to automate almost anything. Like literally, I've automated my Gmail flows, data entry, and so many other areas, which I've made videos on. And I definitely recommend that you go watch it with links in the description below. Now, VectorShift is not just your basic AI framework. It's something that can easily enable anyone to easily build generative AI solutions, AI search engines, assistants, chatbots, AI agents, and various automations. So with that thought, let's get straight into the video and showcase how you can use this platform to automate any business process. Now, before we get started, I definitely recommend that you take a look at the Patreon page so that you can access the new subscriptions that we'll be releasing this week. So what business process are we going to automate? There's so many out there. So which one can you even automate? Well, a common practice businesses do is quite tedious and that is to evaluate a lot of offers or evaluate various business documents. For example, a large company uses VectorShift to make pipelines to evaluate requests for proposal bids. Essentially, you can think of it as a lot of people are submitting bids to purchase offers or even sell the software. And in this case, you might receive hundreds of bids, which would prompt you to review through all of them. It's quite similar to how an HR department would get thousands of resumes for a job position, and it would require you to review through all of them, rather than reviewing through all of them and spending hours and hours to go through each of them. You can have AI automate that process. So we can see that this is something that is a pain point for many businesses. And it's one small process of business that will showcase how you can automate with the help of AI, as you can easily save hours, increase productivity and efficiency. Then it should give you some sort of idea as to how you can use this structure to even automate other business processes. Essentially, I want to showcase how you can simply use this platform to automate various pipelines. So let's get started. What I want you to do is click on the get started button and I want you guys to sign up with your email account or with a Google account or a GitHub account. Once you have signed up, we can then proceed forward. You'll then be sent over to the main pipeline dashboard. This is where you're going to be able to manage all your automations, your chatbots, as well as your search engines. You have a marketplace in which you can access pre-built uh, templates for different automations that have been created by the community as well as by the VectorShift team. You can upload your knowledge base, your files. You're going to be able to manage your automations here, chatbots, as well as forums. And you're going to be able to track the metrics and the performance of your automations within these three categories. Now, let's get back to the pipeline page and let's start off by creating our pipeline. Now, what I want you to do is click on this addition sign on the left hand panel and click on create new. And this will prompt open this page where it will showcase a lot of templates that we saw previously. For example, you can automate your Gmail, you can automate various Google Drive flows, and so many others. But in this case, we're going to be creating our pipeline from scratch. So just simply click on the Create Pipeline from Scratch button. You will then be sent over to this drag and drop UI where you can utilize this simple no code UI to easily build your automation. Now, what I want you to do is head over to the General tab and place an input node 
and an output node, which is quite foundational for any workflow to be functional, where inputs come in through queries and outputted to different integrations or even a chatbot or an automation. To showcase what we're gonna be building, this is the RFP evaluator. And like I mentioned, it's gonna be creating a simple app that will process RFPs. And it's gonna lay out all the details of the RFP that are essential, and it will let us know if we should move forward with the bid or not. In this case, I've uploaded a file of an RFP, which is quite lengthy, and it gave us a really good summarized output where it will let us know all the key details from uh, thousands of pages for us. And you can see that it summarized us, which explained all the things we need to keep in mind to move forward with the RFP or not. So now that we have our workflow structure set up, what we're going to be doing is placing one large language model node. Now I'm going to be utilizing OpenAI's large language model node, and I'm going to be providing a system prompt. The system prompt states that review the uploaded tender documents and provide a detailed analysis of the scope of work as it pertains to the project. Use the context to evaluate the tender analysis points. This is the points that I wanted to output. And what I'm going to do now is have it connected with the input. Now, this input is going to be processing files. So this is where the RFPs get in to the input where you can simply upload it and it will be processed in with the open AI large language model load. I'll also be pasting in uh, another knowledge base. The reason why is because I wanted to reference the knowledge base so that it could teach the process or the AI to basically review through the RFP, which I'll explain in a bit. So now that we have the system prompt and now that I have connected and added a knowledge base, it's going to be quite functional and we have our full flow set up. Now, let me explain everything. We have the context so that it's going to be able to evaluate the RFP. Now, I don't know if you know, but usually RFPs require a certain type of procedure. And this is why you would want to train the AI to respond in a certain way. Now, in this case, I have found a couple of articles which will basically have evaluation criteria for the AI to be trained upon. So what I've done is that I went to the pipeline, I went to the knowledge base, and I created an RFP evaluation knowledge base. To do so, it's super easy. What you want to do is upload a knowledge base, create a new knowledge base. You want to just name it whatever you want. So you can just name it RFP. Once you have named it, you can then add our different files, URLs, in this case, as script URLs by simply pasting in a bunch of these links, which will help train the model to basically respond in a certain type of way. So now let's go back into our pipeline and we can just delete this old one. So I've uploaded the knowledge base so that whenever the question arises, what are the top evaluation criteria for evaluating RFPs, which I saw stated in my OpenAI system prompt, to reference through this pipeline before evaluating an RFP. It's gonna basically go through the criteria when an RFP is sent in so that that particular RFP is evaluated with the criteria and it will be outputted based off the preference that I have stated over here, such as outputting a risk and compliance, the resource allocation, and etc. So now we have our knowledge base as reference for the context as well as an open AI large language model node to process everything with natural language. We just need to simply connect everything. And to do so, you want to first connect the input node to the open AI large language model node. And to do so, what you want to do is you want to click on the insert variable button. This will basically allow you to add a variable to connect all these nodes. So in this case, I just named it tender to connect the input document. And then I just simply stated tender document. And then I added another one so that it could connect the context. And once I connected both of these two, I've then had it connected to the output so that it can then output to a forum. So now that we have this automation that will evaluate our feed bits, we can then move forward and simply just deploy changes. Once we have done that, we can start basically deploying it to an embedded website or just to access it through a URL. To do so, what you want to do is click on Export Pipeline, but you can also run this pipeline to test it out over here to see if it's functional. But since I already know that this is going to work, I'm going to just click on Export as a forum because I think that this would be the best way to access this automation as a forum. So let's just name it RFP bid, and we're going to then create this forum. 
once we have done that you can configure certain things such as adding a logo the name you can change the inputs change the styling in this case we'll just leave it the same and then we're gonna then just simply click on export you can open this form up as a link as i said or you can have it as an embedded form you can also have authentication to access this rfp automation and essentially we have now created this new automation that will help evaluate RFP bids with a detailed analysis and it's going to ensure thoroughly that you understand the project scope requirements and risks and this way you don't need to manually go through hundreds and thousands of bids you would can just utilize this automation to easily help you and this approach is going to help you compare bids objectively ensure the chosen bid aligns to your capabilities and it's going to minimize the risk of missing crucial details that could impact project success so what we're going to be doing now is feeding this with an RFP. This is an RFP that is 114 pages long, and we're going to have it evaluate this full RFP for us. So I went along and I've uploaded the RFP. It's going to start on working on evaluating the RFP bid with the detailed analysis that I stated before. So let's submit this and it's going to focus on generating the output with those six criteria that I gave to the system prompt. And it's going to reference the different criteria as well as examples and tips that I gave as context to train the AI to respond in that particular manner and it will basically train the AI to respond in a proper manner that will basically help compare the bids objectively so now what we can do is head back to this and you can see that it has now outputted this quite efficiently and effectively in six key areas and this is how it was able to evaluate that RFP that was 114 pages long and you can see that it did it quite efficiently and effectively within a short period of time and the tender document outlines a comprehensive scope of work with a strong emphasis on technology solutions etc etc and you can see that it will lay out all the key details that are essential to basically move forward with the RFP if necessary and that's just one simple example of a business process being automated there's so many different automations and integrations that you can work with to basically automate anything with this platform. So I definitely recommend that you try this out. This is my favorite AI automation platform. I'll leave all the links that I use in today's video in the description below. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon page so that you can access different subscriptions completely for free. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity. And I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.